Hello guys, in today's video we will change this default Laravel auth into a theme called Core UI. So we will adapt the header, the sidebar and the main part into this default dashboard of Laravel auth. So here we have our default Laravel project generated with Laravel new project minus minus auth. And if you click register, you see a default form. We use fake filler to register some user and the dashboard looks like this. And our goal is to change that look into Core UI theme. Core UI is a free Bootstrap admin template. It has a free version and a pro version, and we will use a free version. And if you click Live Preview, after a few clicks, you land on this page, which has sidebar, charts, a lot of that stuff. Of course, we won't implement everything, but what we need is the sidebar with links and the core area for the information and logout and login mechanism. So if we go and take a look at the documentation, so click the docs of Core UI. It has a quick start introduction. And the problem in general with all the themes and templates that the default installation method of those is usually cloning the full project of them. And then you kind of have two projects. You have your Laravel project and you have the core UI front end theme and how to merge them. So instead of that, what I'm usually doing when implemented some theme, whether it's free or premium, I go into a demo page of that and take only the pieces that I actually need. And in fact, in the documentation, they are helping with that. So they provide the CSS and JS from Unpackage.com, which is a CDN, so you don't need to download any CSS or JavaScript. And if you load those, there is a starter template. So this HTML is the basics of all core UI. So what we need to do in Laravel, this page, dashboard you are logged in, it's actually a home blade in our project, and we need to change layouts app to have core UI. Everything else stays Laravel way. And let's open that app blade and see what's inside. It's a simple HTML. So why don't we change that one to core UI starter template to this one, and then add the header and the sidebar. So let's copy all of that, copy to clipboard, open our app blade, paste, and then instead of hello world, you would have yield content, which is the same as the old version. So this, and then another thing you need from the old version is config Laravel probably into the title and let's comment out everything in the old version just comment shift and php storm and it's commented out in a blade but we will still leave it because we will need a few parts from there so now if we refresh our page it will look like this it already has core ui from the cdn css and javascript and it has the functionality of laravel dashboard and you are logged in now what we need to add is the sidebar with logout button and the header so this header, it will be empty for now, and some sidebar with logout button. And for that, I open the exact parts of the theme with JavaScript console. So right click here, inspect, and it opens Chrome development console. And what I'm interested in, if we minimize some stuff, minimize a few more things, and this is what we're interested in, the sidebar. And let's copy all of that, right click, copy, copy element, and inside of our app blade, Let's do include partials menu. And we will create partials folder with file menu blade and paste everything from the browser. If we save and refresh the page, as you can see, we have the sidebar with static links without some images but it has the sidebar. Now let's delete almost everything that we don't need. We need the sidebar, but only with two menu items, dashboard and logout. So we have sidebar link. Here you have to inspect some stuff to identify what you exactly need. So navbar item, ref to main, it will be to home. And then we don't need any icons and let's call it the dashboard and we don't need the span for new. Okay, let's do some styling and that's the only link that we actually need and let's delete everything else. Yeah, so we don't need anything else here. This line, this line is not needed and the list is over. And then let's copy another one. It will be a logout link. So logout. And this is the part that we will need from the original app blade. Here it is, the form to logout. So let's uncomment that. Copy paste into the menu blade, 
let's put it at the bottom, at the very bottom. And the link to log out is this one. So let's uncomment that out and let's see where it leads. It has some JavaScript, so let's copy the part that we need into here. Some formatting. We don't need C active here, it's not an active link, so we leave only this one. And probably that's it, let's make it more readable, like this. And now as we have those elements inside of menu blade, we can totally delete that app blade, the old version. So everything that was commented out, now we totally delete that and refresh the page. As you can see, we have the dashboard and let's see if it works. Click log out. Yep, it redirects back. So let's try again, click register. That will be another thing that we will fix. So registration should have another template. So register and we have the dashboard. What we forgot actually is from the original theme, this part, the brand. So in the menu blade, before the UL, it's this. It has some SVG of original theme, which we don't need. And what we do need is the name of the project, which comes from this. From app blade, paste here, save, refresh the page, and we have the project name here. Okay, so we have the sidebar. Now let's take a look at the header and footer. And for that, we get to the original theme and its source. And if you take a look at the source, div class with C wrapper is actually what we need. It wraps the header, so this part, then body, which in our case will be yield content, and then the footer. So let's copy all the C wrapper, copy element into our app blade, and that yield content will be in the middle of that. So let's paste it here. And this is a huge amount of HTML, but what we actually need is the footer remains the same. But if we scroll up, 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 we have C wrapper, header, which in our case will be empty, so we delete everything in the header. It contains a lot of menu items, sub-menu items, icons and all of that, but we don't need that for now. And we delete the subheader, everything in the header up until this one. So the header will represent a line, but it just will be empty. And then the actual content is inside of C body, C main container. So we need to delete everything inside of container and replace that with yield content. So we delete all of that and cut yield content into here. Save, and let's refresh our page. And now we have the header and the footer, which may contain your project name and powered by core UI, because I think it's required by the theme if you use it for free to have the credits in the footer. But generally, we have our Laravel project with new theme. And from here, you can add more menu items. Final thing we need to change is change the design of register and login forms, because now if you go to register, it still contains all the theme, which shouldn't be the case. Now, how does it look in the core UI? And in the demo, there's pages, login. And we won't rebuild that fancy form. We'll just take a look at the source and we just need to copy body. I've checked that before the video to save you time. So we just need the body and we will save that app blade into a separate template, which is auth blade for login register and all of those pages, which is outside of logged in user. So we change that body to our new one. We don't need menu. And in fact, we don't need anything except the body. We don't even need that JavaScript. And we will just have yield content. And then our register blade should extend not the layouts app here, but layouts auth. And then each of those pages, login, register, and all of those, they have their own containers, which will fill in the UI. And let's refresh the page, register blade, refresh. And we have the same form, but without the sidebar and the header. So if we get back, this is our homepage. And let's change the login as well. So login blade also extends layouts off. Verify blade, forgot password, and all of that pages. So confirm password everything that is not authenticated will extend layouts auth auth and now if we go to login i'll go to forgot your password this theme is actually core ui already but the functionality is default laravel 
So in here, we took the core functionality of core UI, the HTML. Of course, I've made some preparations before this video to identify which parts are needed. So in reality, it took me like an hour or two. But in general, this is the lesson. This is how you apply external theme. This is how I do it personally. If you have any other tips how to do it quicker, shoot in the comments and let's discuss. And the choice of core UI theme wasn't accidental. It's a default theme in our quick admin panel. So we offer you to generate the quick admin panel with one of three themes and core UI is the main one. There's also admin LTE, the old version and the new version, but core UI, in my opinion, is pretty good theme. So we offer that to customers. You can try it out at quickadminpanel.com. If you want more tips on Laravel, you can browse this channel. There are more than 400 videos already and subscribe to that because I shoot videos almost daily now. See you guys in other videos.